Hi ladies, it's Mae Larson here and you guys know me, I can't keep away from doing some tutorials. I said I wasn't going to do any more until I return back from my trip, but um, a couple months ago I created, or didn't create, I made one of these. Um, and I had done it in Spanish and a lot of ladies wanted me to do it in English. So here it is. Um, we're going to be doing this in English. The only difference is that we're not going to put these same embellishments on there. But we're going to use the same material, which is this crochet trim or um, that you can pick up. It's a crochet trim that you can pick up at the garden section at Hobby Lobby. Um, it comes in a big roll. And it was 70 inches by 6 inches. Um, and it was originally $9.99, but I paid 40% of $9.99. It was over the summertime that I purchased this, but you can also use any type of fabric. Um, the width is 6 inches, and the amount that I cut was 46 inches long. You're also going to need some type of a um, trim, but you can um, add it as your centerpiece. Um, some embellishments, some safety pins, um, and of course... Um, I'm going to use a glue stick to help me um, place my ribbon that's going to go in the center and then you're going to need your sewing machine. You can use a hot glue gun or Fabri-Tac to do this project. My only problem with that is that you want to make sure that it is um, sturdy and that it will last a long time with the wear and tear of pulling out your toilet paper out of the holder. This is a toilet paper holder. It is a function functioning toilet paper holder and basically you're going to tuck your toilet paper in there and I know back in the 70s my mom used to have some of these um, and when I started to craft um, as a teenager she would ask me to make some of this stuff for her but um, I'm also using a hanger from Melissa Francis and you can go to her store and purchase some of these this is the 8 inch one I just kind of bent it a little bit to fit my um, piece here so let's get started one of the, one of the things that you're also going to keep in mind is um, your toilet paper um, the size of your toilet paper is very important that you measure it and make sure that it fits snug to it um, as I said before this is uh, 46 inches long and the width is um, six inches so this is a trim that I picked up at the Hobby, um, Hobby Lobby and it was 50% uh, off the $29.99 so there's about five yards in this roll and what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to center that just like so and it is a wired kind of trim and you can go in there and pull once you, you, you once you decide the length that you want you can pull that wire out um, if you want so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to measure out make sure I have enough to cover it now again I'm using a sewing machine I would prefer to use a sewing machine just because um, I want to make sure that it lasts a long time and it doesn't fall in the middle of all the pulling and tucking so make sure it's all the way to the top Make sure there, there, and there. And I'm going to use just a regular scissor because it does have some wire there, and I don't want my scissors to get ruined. So I snipped off the, the wire, and I'm going to use my fabric, go across, making sure I don't hit the wire. I don't want to hit wire that wire that's why I said you can cut that pull that wire out if you want um, and then I'm going to use this one to snip because it's my junky scissors I don't want to use my good scissors so once you have that then you can take the wire pull the wire out just like so and you can recycle this wire and I normally do so just recycle that and you can use it for something else we're just going to put that out there. I'm going to pull the wire off the other side. It comes out really nicely. Makes it easier to manage, I think. Especially if you're going to run it through your machine. You don't want that wire there. Alright. And 
seems very festive. Now, um, the ribbon is going to go right smack in the center. It's the length of this crocheted piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some glue sticks. And I am going to put it, place it right smack in the middle. But I'm going to lift this up carefully and just use my glue stick so that instead of placing pins on it I can do it this way and then I can take it and run it through my sewing machine straight down and that's just a tip so you don't have to use sewing uh, pins and have to deal with the pins And that glue stick will it, it will not dry purple or anything like that that just kind of helps it helps a lot this ribbon is kind of wonky here all right Smack in there. Okay. So I really hope you guys are enjoying this hop. Tomorrow, um, an, another talented crafter is going to be um, listing her video tutorial, and her name is Maggie White. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you guys know Maggie White. Who doesn't know Maggie? She's super talented, and she makes fabulous, and I mean fabulous ladies, um, fabric albums. Um, so you have to stop by there and give her some love, some support, like, share, and subscribe to her YouTube channel. Leave a beautiful comment. Um, we've been posting the links to the um, the list of who's going where and how, um, so that you guys can follow through in in the group, both in my group and in the Just Add group. So just make sure you guys work your way around and um, visit all these beautiful, talented ladies and their tutorials because there's been today was Laylee. Lenica and she had a beautiful tassel to share with us um, and Laylee has also done a video she's going to be doing a video on her house and showing her Christmas decor that's kind of not wanting to stick there um, so that's how, uh, but yeah she's super super talented and we're super excited to have all these talented youtubers participating in this hop that's really awesome so I just kind of put some in there just to help keep it in place while I start pinning. All right, so now once you have that, you're going to want to take this through the sewing machine, and I got to make sure that's make it make take it through the sewing machine and make a stitch going down one end and another stitch going down on the other end, each end of this ribbon. Okay, so we'll be back. So now we have all this sewn in and. What we're going to do now is figure out the placement for your toilet paper. Now that's important and it all depends on how thick your toilet paper roll is. Now you put it in, first make sure you get these two, the top here, um, pinned down so that it doesn't come undone and it's not moving or shifting. In your top if you want you can sew that down 
once you finish sewing the middle trim. And again, you can use your um, glue gun for this. I just, I, you know, it's a personal preference not to do that for me on this project. All right, and then you can just s figure out about where you want it, the thickness of it, but you also want to make sure it's kind of evened out, centered. So lift it up a little like that. Let me do it sideways. So see that right there? So hold it right where it is and then take your pen and pin it right there. That way you can get guesstimate where it's going to go. So that's a good, nice, snug fit right there. And then do the same for the others. So if you were to move this one in and go up here, let's pin this one up really good. And I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my measuring tape and I'm going to my measuring ruler and I'm going to figure that is about seven and a half. So we're going to go in about seven and a half and pin it all the way through so it doesn't come undone. Okay. Those two sides are together, that's also important. All right. So let's measure that again. Seven and a half right there. And there. And it should be about seven and a half over here, right? If I guesstimate right, I'm always eyeballing everything. A little bit up. I think it's a tad bit. Yep, seven and a half right there. So if you want, you can take this, sew it in right into your machine. Um, and then you're going to take your roll, tuck it in there, and push it firmly down. And again, it's easier to figure out because you want that really pretty much centered. And then pin it right where that one goes. And then just do the same thing for the top and then um, sew it in. So we'll be back. All right, so you gotta make sure your toilet paper, all three, fits in there snugged. And then you're gonna start decorating. Um, the decorating part is the part that I like the most, but let's start getting out all the things that we're gonna use to create this beautiful toilet paper holder. Starters, now is a time that you can use your glue gun, and I'm going to use this Creating with Details beautiful GIMP trim, and I'm just going to align it just like that. And for this, you do have to remove your toilet paper um, out of the way. So let's get started, and I'm going to go ahead and glue this down, just smack down here. And you can use just about anything for these are really simple to make they don't take that much effort um, but I strongly recommend that you use you know your sewing machine so we're gonna go right smack down there and then we're gonna flip it around now, Creative with Details has tons of laces, and I do know that she's going to be traveling out of the country um, for about a month in January, and she's going to be bringing some fabulous more trims. So you'll have to go by there and check that out um, and see what she's going to be bringing for you guys. Now, this is something that you can um, also create as a gift for a loved one. Um, I'm just making it for something for my bathroom, um, and it's going to be decorated for the Christmas holidays so that I have something to switch out during the holidays. Um, so come spring, I can put the other one. Come winter, I can put this one. And then we'll trim it here. And then we'll do the same over here. 
Let me make sure I got room. I feel like I'm running out of room here. What's going on? Okay. So today we went to, um, we decided to leave town for a bit and we went to some antique stores and it's really, I love, you know, there's one thing I love about Texas. It's at night. The lights are gorgeous. Um, and my youngest, she was able to find some, um, actually in a antique store that we went to this evening. There was a um, Littlest Pet Shop. She collects those, and they had the really old ones. So, um, or she was now she wants to go to antique stores tomorrow. So, more antiques. She says, "Let's go to more antique stores." Hoping she finds more littlest pet shop stuff. The older version is what she calls it. And tomorrow we're going to be early, be finishing up some more Christmas shopping. So we were quite busy today and just settling in. We need this like 10 something at night and we're just settling in. I just said to my husband, I said, I got to go work on something. I've had it in my mind. I need to get done. <clears throat> So we have that. Grab some of my coffee. <clears throat> and in between where you have the little sewing stitch, you can add something to not necessarily hide the stitch, but just to give it a little bit of a flare. So I'm just going to squeeze this in right there, tuck it under. little bit of a sniffle. It's a good thing to bring a little bit of the past into the future, so I'm just going to go in and kind of nip this in the bud a little. <clears throat> and you can do the same thing in the front as you do in the back. It's not necessary, but you can. And I'm tucking in under. decorated because we're going to be taking off here in a couple days. It's just kind of crazy, but um, my husband's like, I don't know why you're decorating for Christmas if we're not even going to be here. Gave me pleasure to decorate for Christmas, right? Plus, it was fun to be able to create all these wonderful projects. For you all. All right, so we have that. Now we're gonna do this side, and I know I have to do the top, but I just at the top I'm thinking about doing something else. So now this is the, um, a piece that I picked up from Joanne's. It's 
so not very cheap, ladies. That I can tell you it wasn't cheap. I'm just going to go in and get the front and the back, because you don't have to. That's just me. Me being me, guys. So here's what I'm thinking. Karen Thompson was very nice enough to send me this beautiful trim from Hobby Lobby. And what I'm thinking about is tucking it under here, or maybe just slightly like that, because I, I wanted to cover up some of that there. So what I should have done is I should have put that applique on top. Um, but no biggies, because I'm going to have a flower there anyway. Um, but that'll go like that, and then I'm going to put these little flowers that I made out of mesh, and I put a center, a bling center. Um, so I didn't even have to actually put that trim on top. Um, and then I'm going to take these little peachy ones that has a little touch of gold, because there's gold on this um, ribbon, and we're going to do something like that on that so let's get started so if you want you can take your undo and I'm probably gonna do that because you guys know me I'm a little bit <clears throat> crazy like that and we can keep um, the back with that applique but for the front I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little bit of my undo and undo the boo-boo okay I'm just kind of We'll lift it up if we can. If we can't because of the sequence, that's okay. We'll just go right on top. No hard feelings. But it looks like it's coming up nicely. Another thing you can do is take your heat gun and just kind of zap it in a little and that works just as good as undo alright so it's coming up nicely happens when you jump in without carefully planning right so then I'm just gonna I'm gonna remove all of them and I just had two to remove so no biggie no sweating the small stuff it's about enjoying ourselves all right all right so So if you weren't going to do all the decors that I'm going to do, of course, this is all, you know, based on the decors, too, that you're going to apply. Um, you could decorate your stitch so it's not as noticeable, although the stitch is not really noticeable. All right. So remove your, your glue, and we've done. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this beautiful trim that Karen gifted me right there and I'm going to trim. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and just glue it right down. And I'm putting a good amount of that glue. <clears throat> and I'm just going to go right smack on it. Corner to corner, edge to edge. 
and then trim it. Notice I do have my toilet paper there. Again. Okay, then you can take this little piece that you just, you know, you can put it right on there if you want. But we're going to go ahead and put these little pretty flowers that I've made right smack in the middle. Pretty little tutu, perfect for a little princess. And this is just mesh that I cut up and um, I did a running stitch of about uh, 56 inches long and I did a running stitch, gathered it up, put a piece of felt behind, put a piece of bling, and I made myself a little tutu flower. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to grab these because these I picked up from Mrs. Garden Grove and um, they have a hint of gold, and it'll pick up some of this here on this um, beautiful ribbon. So, a bit of gold, a bit of that peachy colors that I have in my house. I don't have too much pink, ladies. I love pink, but I don't have too much of it in my home. Okay. Alright, so we can do that. See that? How pretty. Fluff out your flower. Make it really pretty. There we go. So that's that. And then on to part two. So thank you, Miss Karen. That was beautiful of you. I, the reason I put my toilet paper there is because I wanted to see how it lays on it and I saw that it lay perfect on it so when you're doing this make sure you insert your your roll of paper in to see how it looks when you're applying on um, the decors okay it makes it a lot easier to see Then we're going to take, I had this one that I made with a little bit of gold in the center. We'll refuel. came in little, oops, drop one, sorry. So I got to cut out the mesh around it, so that's all right. Let's trim all that mesh and then you can have yourself a pretty flower. All right. And another thing that you can do if you make a bigger one, you can use it for um, your towels to roll up your towel. That's another. Um, idea for you to create something similar to this but for your towels um, it gives you more ideas for the cores for your home a gift giving for a loved one 
And there's that one. I think it's stinking cute with that tutu. It looks like a little tutu. I love it. Let's trim these out because otherwise they come. I they they they're supposed to come individually, but you got to trim them out sometimes. So. Let's do the top. All this junk out of my way so I'm not Hey ladies, for some reason I don't know what's going on. My little machine here is wanting to stop to record whenever it wants to. So I'm going to have to check to see what I'm doing wrong. Okay, so what I did is I attached the trim to the top. I took the hanger from Melissa Francis from my other one because it's, I'm going to be switching out between seasons. Um, and when I switch out home decors, attached it to that. Now we're making a bow. And what I have here is about two yards of seam binding, and the seam binding is from Creating with Details, a lacy trim, or ribbon, not red trim, some sorry yarn, and you guys seen how I do these. I like my bows to be kind of crazy and funky, and I want to take my Deco Fun bow maker, I'm going to move the pegs because I want this to be a little bit big and full. So let's move that and make it a little bit bigger. And we go in, in between, and around, and back in between. And then I'm going to take pull here because I see that it's a little bit wonky. Put my sorry yarn in the middle. And I'm going to order some extra pegs so I'm not having to move these around. I do, Michelle told me that they do have extra pegs, so that's awesome. So then I'm going to pop it up. Bring that over. Bring this on over. And I'm going to use. Go your way however you want it and I'm going to attach it like that to the top so I'm just going to use some glue and you can attach a little like this the string attach it around so you can change even the bow hold it for a little bit but that is basically all I did and that gorgeous very beautiful and this is something that you can um, make even for your towels or your hand towels or your body towels um, for your bathroom or make it as a gift for a loved one anyway ladies until next time bye bye